good afternoon children this is hanuman sir here in the previous class we are discussing about arithmetic progression right and uh, how to find the first term and common difference of given sequence right and also we are discussing about general form of arithmetic progression and general term of an arithmetic progression isn't it okay so today we are going to discuss on the same topic so it's clear about arithmetic general form of an arithmetic progression so general form of an arithmetic progression here a is the initial point on lhs the succeed successive term of a is a plus d next a plus 2d and a plus 3d etc on rhs if i take lhs terms so the preceding term of a is a minus d a minus 2d and a minus 3d etc this is known as general form of an arithmetic progression next general term general term of an arithmetic progression r r nth term nth term of an arithmetic progression so that is an is equals to an is equals to a plus n minus 1 a plus n minus 1 into t right so that is a plus an is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d where where a is the first term a is the first term and t is the common difference d is the common difference and n is the number of number of terms and also an is the total number of terms an is the total number of terms okay so let me take one example for this see first sum find find the ten terms find the ten terms ten term of the arithmetic progression 2 7 12 13 14 15 16 okay find the 10th term of the arithmetic progression 2 7 12 so here we need to find 10th terms of the given arithmetic progression so let me do the sum here we have a sequence 2 7 12 etc so here we know that so a1 that is first term first term it can, first term it can also denoted as a so that is 2 and second term is 7 and third term is 12 and so on so here we have first term a is 2 and we know that common difference what do you mean by common difference yes the difference between any two consecutive terms is called a common difference right so here the first two the difference between the first two consecutive terms that is d is equals to a2 minus a1 so d is equal to here we have a2 is 7 and a1 is 2 after subtraction we get 7 minus 2 5 and n is equals to Ten. So we need to find a n is equal to ten. So that is given data. Given data. So we know that we know that a n the term, a n the term of an arithmetic progression. That is a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. on substituting we get a10 is equals to where a is 
प्लस एन इज टेन माइनस वन इंटू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ टी इज फाइव सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द टेंथ टर्म ऑफ द गिवन एक्स गिवन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सो टू वी कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट वन फ्रम नाइन दट इज टेन वन फ्रम टेन दट इज नाइन एंड फाइव देर फोर ए टेन इज ईक्वल्स टू टू इंटू नाइन फाइव इज फोर्टी फाइव देर फोर ए टेन इज ईक्वल फोर्टी फाइव प्लस टू वी कैन हेड दिस एड दिस टू वी गेट फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी सेवन देर फोर द टेंथ टर्म ऑफ द गिवन अर्थमेटिक सीक्वेंस इज फोर्टी सेवन इज इट क्लियर टू हॉल चिल्ड्रन एस Okay, I am going to give the second example. See the second example. Find the eighth term. Eighth term of an arithmetic progression: seven, ten, thirteen, etc. Right. So we need to find eighth term of the given sequence. Right. So here. the given data given data a1 that is first term so first term of the given sequence is 7 so we can denote it as a and also we need to find that common difference at uh, d so we know that the difference between any two consecutive terms uh, of a sequence is called a common difference so d is equals to the first two the difference between the first two consecutive terms that is a2 minus a1 so d is equal to here we have a2 is 10 that is second term and then second first term a1 is 7 hence we get d is equal to we can subtract 7 from 10 we get 10 minus 7 is equals to 3 Okay, then n is equals to how many numbers we want to find here? Yes, so we need to find eighth term. So that is n is equal to eight. Therefore, we need to find out eighth term, right? So we know that nth term of an of an arithmetic progression a n is equals to ए एन इज ईक्वल्स टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी अगेन हियर ए एन इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स वेर ए इज द फर्स्ट टर्म एन इज द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स एंड डी इज द कॉमन डिफरेंस राइट सो वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट एन इज ईक्वल टू हेट सो हियर वी हेव ए इज सेवेन प्लस एन इज एट माइनस वन इन टू द कॉमन डिफरेंस इज थ्री ओके therefore the eighth term so we can take seven has same one same seven is same then now we can subtract one minus eight we get seven into three so seven plus seven three is a twenty one therefore the eighth term we can add these two we get twenty one plus seven Twenty-eight. Therefore, the eighth term of an arithmetic progression seven, ten, thirteen is a eight is equals to twenty-eight. Is it clear to all children? Yes. Shall I give one more example regarding this? Yes. So, determine. Determine the happy. Who's third term? Who's third term is five, and the seventh term, and the seventh term is nine. I'll repeat the question once again. Determine the happy whose third term is five and seventh term is nine. ओके 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 इन द गिवन सम सो द गिवन डाटा गिवन डाटा सी ए थ्री थर्ड टर्म 
third term third term that is a3 can be written as c a plus 3 minus 1 into d so we know that the nth term of an arithmetic progression a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d in general a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d so we can take n is equals to 3 a 3 is equals to a plus we can substitute n is 3 so 3 minus 1 therefore a 3 can be written as a plus 3 minus 1 into 2 d call it as equation number 1 similarly the seventh term seventh term a is equals to n is 7 7 minus 1 into d so this can be written as a plus 7 minus 1 6 d call it as equation number 2 okay i'll repeat this we we know that the nth term of an arithmetic progression a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d here we need to determine the arithmetic progression whose third term is 5 so third term can be written as a3 is equals to so according to uh, nth term of an arithmetic progression it can be written as a3 is equals to we can substitute n is 3 so a plus 3 minus 1 into d we get a plus we can subtract 1 from 3 we get 2 plus 2 into a plus 2d that is equation number 1 then second a seventh term a plus we can substitute a, n has a 7 so 7 minus 1 into d we get a plus 6d in equation number call it as equation number 2 is it clear to all children okay solving the pair of linear equations uh, equation number 1 and 2 we get a c and subtract a, subtract a, 2 2 minus 1 1 from 2 here we get a plus 6 d is equals to is equals to 5 and a third term a plus sorry for third term a plus 2 d is equals to sorry seventh term is 9 seventh term is 9 and third term is 5 okay so because uh, given data a3 is equals to 5 and a7 is equals to is equals to 9 okay on subtracting we get see this is we can interchange the sign plus becomes minus plus becomes minus plus becomes minus so a plus a minus a gets cancelled so 6 minus 2 is 4 d and 9 minus 5 is 4 so d is equals to 4 by 4 d is equal to 4 ones are 4 ones are gets cancelled d equals 1 so we can substitute we can substitute in equation number 1 we get see a plus 2d is equals to 5 where a is a plus 2 into we can substitute d is 1 is equals to 5 is equals to 5 so a plus 2 1 z 2 is equals to 5 we can interchange this term plus 2 becomes a minus we can interchange my plus 2 from LHS to RHS we get minus 2 where a is equals to 5 minus 2 is 3 okay okay therefore we have a is 3 and the common difference d is 1 then the arithmetic progression then the terms 
of an arithmetic progression r so we know that the general form of an arithmetic progression a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d etc this is known as a general form of an arithmetic progression we can substitute a is equals to a is equals to 3 and 3 plus common difference is a 1 so again a is 2 2 into 1 here 3 plus 3 into 1 etc so first term there is no change in first term so first term is 3 then the second term 3 plus 1 4 here 2 1s are 2 2 plus 3 we get 5 and 3 1s are 3 so the third fourth term 3 plus 3 is 6 etc right therefore the terms of an arithmetic progression is 3 4 5 6 7 etc here we have hiding 0 or it contains hiding 0 or subtracting 0 either hiding or subtracting 0 we get the successive sequence that is 3 4 5 6 etc so is it clear to all children okay i hope you understand all the all the above sums and i will continue in the next next class thank you one and all children